Hello, ladies and interested gentlemen. I'm Dr. Holda, the medical director of the Visionary Women's Health Clinic in Columbia, Maryland. And I'm here to talk to you about a very important topic, and that is postpartum depression and postpartum blues. Now, many of you know that I recently had a baby. I delivered my baby girl six weeks ago. Um, and so this is a topic that um, is on my mind and, and seems to keep coming up a lot around me. Um, lots of patients who also had <laughs> recent pandemic babies and getting this question a lot. Now I'm gonna let you guys in, let you in on a little um, sort of personal fact, which is that I suffered from postpartum depression with my son um, and also with my daughter. Um, I had my son in residency, uh, which is sort of um, very intense training years as a physician, and I was an intern. Uh, and then I also had a slew of other risk factors, including complications of pregnancy, complications at delivery, lack of a support system, et cetera, et cetera. All the things that sort of were the perfect storm for postpartum depression. And the irony is I didn't recognize it in myself at the time, even though I was an OBGYN, until my sister looked at me and said, you are not yourself and something's wrong. And then it suddenly clicked that, oh my God, I'm going through postpartum depression. And so of course, the second time around um, with my daughter, I uh, was able to recognize it fairly quickly and um, get the attention that I needed. And I'm lucky to say that this time around, um, a lot of those risk factors um, are no longer present and I am doing better, but I do have um, some moments where I am always um, on alert and, and just want to make sure that I don't end up in that same situation. And that's what I want to come here to talk to you about today because there are signs of overt postpartum depression and then there are signs that indicate that you may be heading there and you need to be careful um, and if, a, if an OBGYN can miss that in themselves anybody can so I want to make sure that you don't or that you don't miss it in a loved one or someone around you like a colleague. Now the obvious signs of postpartum depression are going to be things like crying all the time, feeling sad all the time, feeling completely worthless um, or just hopeless, not wanting to live anymore, wanting to hurt yourself or someone else, um, feeling like you are excessively tired, you don't want to get up, you don't want to do anything, your appetite is gone or is, is excessive, so the, ex the other extreme is also true. Um, difficulty bonding with your child, um, withdrawing from your family and your friends. Uh, those are a few of the symptoms of postpartum depression. However, if you feel um, these symptoms that I'm about to list, I want you to also um, kind of be careful because you may be heading there. And they include things like um, uh, feeling like you are a bad mother at times, feeling guilty, perhaps you're guilty about going back to work so soon. I definitely had that. I went back to work at four weeks postpartum just because I had patients that just, I could not make um, them wait any longer than four weeks. And so I definitely had moments where I felt very guilty. Um, and just kind of feeling, having moments where you're you're a bit sad rather than excited about uh, this brand new bundle of joy that you just created. Um, and a couple of things that can cause this is if you feel like you're not completely supported, if you've gone back to work too soon, perhaps you're tr struggling with breastfeeding, maybe you have a colicky baby that's crying a lot and you feel like you're having trouble um, soothing your baby, so you question whether or not you're doing a good job. Um, if your baby is doing well, um, or did you have complications? Uh, did your baby stay in the NICU? Did you have complications at delivery? What your recovery was like, etc. So all these things can cause you to have some of these red flags um, that could lead to postpartum depression or could just frankly just put you in postpartum depression. Um, and some of these red flags do come up for me uh, sometimes, but I... Um, I'm lucky that I have people around me who know about these red flags and sort of can can help me uh, pay attention um, to these. So hope that this helps you. 